All right, go for it. All right, so who in here knows what JVM stands for? No one? Well, it stands for um, Japanese Domestic uh, Market, and it refers to the Japanese car parts that can be put into American cars, and it also refers to Japanese cars themselves that were built with the special JVM parts uh, that were built in Japan in the factories. And I actually got into JVM uh, because my friends, they have JVM cars and they actually took me to a couple of car shows and at the car shows there were thousands of um, cars and there were like tuners who modified their cars and it's just that JVM was the one that stood out to me the most so I took an interest in this topic and then some components of JVM are that it's a uh, right hand drive. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's better than left hand drive, it just means that it's an authentic JVM car. And I actually found this picture while on the internet it says, I'm so JVM, I sleep in my right hand drive. And I just thought that was pretty funny. So, and um, so the white car is a JVM Acura RSX, and the blue one is an American. RSX. And they're both stock, but JDM cars come with a lift kit, as you can see on the bottom, and it comes with um, upgraded lifts above the rims, and it comes with um, a taller um, uh, spoilers. And as the spoilers, they put spoilers on just um, to make the, uh, the rear part of the car. Uh, heavier and for look and JDM cars usually have their license plate on the side because it lets the air flow to the radiator easier so it doesn't heat up as much and in Japan it's a trend to lower cars because it makes your um, suspension tighter but it's expensive to mm -hmm. get um, spoilers to lower your car and although like JDM is popular for tuning um, there is USDM, which is United States Domestic Car Market, and it there's there are cars and car parts that originated and created in the U.S. But USDM cars have uh, lower emission standards, so that their cars aren't as fast as JDM cars because the JDM cars have more free flow, so they generate more power. Now that you know a little bit about both, there's some differences. JDM cars can go up to 8,800 RPM, and USDM cars can only go up to 7,900 uh, RPMs, which means, like I said before, uh, JDM cars are much faster than USDM cars. And if, like, Honda sent over a Type R motor, and even though it's from Japan, it's a JDM, it still has 10 less horsepower from the real JDM Type R motor because of the American, uh, the United States regulations with cars. And that's it. All right. Thanks, everyone. Oh, perfect. Just time to run out of battery.